Hey, turn this on. Oh, cue the new intro. channel happy new year I'm going to be telling you 18 things that I learned in 2018 today um, I'm really excited about this video it's been a couple months in the making just really reflecting upon my year things that I've learned and things that I want to improve upon well those are resolutions and we'll leave those we'll leave those out <laughs> because then if you don't know them there's no proof and if I don't keep them then it's just on me <laughs> so let's just dive right in number one never and I repeat, never run by yourself in Central Park at night. <laughs> I have a really funny experience with this. I know I've talked about it before in other vlogs, but I went running in Central Park and it wasn't dark when I left, but I should have known that it was gonna be dark by the time that I got back. Um, and I was running around the reservoir and <laughs> the fog was terrible because it was like winter and it was like 70 degrees outside, which was wild. But this is a video of the fog that I kept seeing It was really scary. Like, I could not see more than five feet in front of me. Number two, there is a season for everything, including friendships and experiences and locations. There is a season for everything, and that means that things start and end, and that's okay. I'm gonna read a verse from Ecclesiastes because this really, um, if you're not really just, that's fine. I really still think that it's a cool thing to here. So this is what gave me the inspiration for this. It's Ecclesiastes 3 verses 1 through 8. There is a time for everything and a season for every activity under the heavens. A time to be born and a time to die. A time to plant and a time to uproot. A time to kill and a time to heal. A time to tear down and a time to build up. A time to weep and a time to laugh. A time to mourn and a time to dance. <clears throat> a time to scatter stones and a time to gather them. A time to embrace and a time to refrain from embracing. A time to search and a time to give up. A time to keep and a time to throw away. A time to tear and a time to mend. A time to be silent and a time to speak. A time to love and a time to hate. A time for war and a time for peace. And I, I just think that there is a time and place for everything and things come and go and that's okay. And that's something I'm working on being okay with. I know I move around a lot and it's, <clears throat> it affects like my relationships in life and stuff. And there is a time and a place for everything. <clears throat> Number three, focus on what you do have and not on what you don't have. I know a lot of times what I'll do is I'll sit in a situation and I'll be like, oh, well, I know that I have these people, but those people look like they're having so much fun instead of actually just having fun with what's happening right now, I have a hard time focusing on the present. So something that I learned this year was it's better to focus on what you have instead of what you don't. Number four, hard work and dedication actually pays off. So I've been doubtful about this because I've had my fair share of experiences where I've been like, I don't know, cheated out of stuff. And um, it's just, incredible to see it actually come to fruition like my first semester teacher at AMDA noticed my hard work and told me that it was really great and that was such an a cool experience for me to have someone genuinely support me Andy Leach love you with all my heart I actually love all of my teachers that I've had at AMDA they've been great for me really encouraging me and showing me that my hard work is gonna pay off number five I can't keep fish alive and it's devastating. <laughs> These are my babies. Um, I had them in my dorm at AMDA. Sorry, AMDA. I definitely snuck them in and they were my emotional support fish because they were so much fun to look at and they were so cool. This was Angel. Oh, these down there. Clean tank, grumpy fish. And this was, <clears throat> he's the prettiest one. He was Peter Parker, the iron spider fish. 
iron and spider fish. And I cannot even get over how much they were just so cool, but they didn't live very long and that was really sad. And I did take good care of them, so I don't know what to say. Number six, I have Hashimoto's thyroiditis. Um, this was kind of hard for me this year. I know that thyroiditis doesn't seem like a huge deal, but I was kind of upset about it because it's something that I just have to deal with and get over and I've gotten to the point where it's like, you know what? Boom, take that thyroid. I'm actually gonna be super healthy, so you don't you can stop attacking yourself. That's basically what it means is that my body is attacking my thyroid. Um and your thyroid like controls your hormones so it can send things all over the place. Anyway, it's totally manageable. I'm fine. Was I at seven? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yes. My best friend takes the best photos of me. I mean, Noah Carangella takes I love him by the way. He actually just colored his hair bleach blonde and I'm so here for it. I also colored my hair, but anyway, back to the point. He takes the best pictures of me. Um, <clears throat> we'll just go places and he'll be like, okay, stand there and I'll do a whole bunch of stuff and I'll end up with pictures that make me look like Spider-Man. <laughs> Number eight. Oh, Jacob was never actually going to contact Tom Holland for me, which like, <laughs> This is just a stupid one I put on here because like I needed to accept it eventually. But um, I just think Tom Holland's a really cool person and would love to meet him someday, but it's beside the point. I just think it would be cool if we were friends. But Jacob, you know I love you. If you're watching this video, if you're not, then it, I guess this doesn't matter. But yeah, I, he, there was nothing that he could have done. So like, this is just a big joke. <laughs> Number nine, America isn't the end of opinions. I think, this was a, I had the opportunity to leave the country this year. I didn't, I didn't go to like a third world country or anything. I went to Turks and Caicos and it was amazing. I absolutely loved my experience there and I met some really cool people. Um, and it was just interesting talking to them about the world and opinions and stuff. And it was just very eye opening to see that America isn't the end all be all. I know that a lot of times we get so consumed in our own politics and our own opinions that we just stop listening to what anyone else has to say. And I think that that should be the most important thing. You can disagree with someone and that can be fine, but listen to what they have to say and have a civil conversation about your disagreements. It's one of the things that I enjoy most. Like if you're gonna disagree with me, cool, but let's talk about it because I'm genuinely curious about why you believe what you believe. Number 10, my family should have a reality TV show or we should be on Disney Channel. I, I don't know, but the kind of crap that happens around here is so funny. And we are living with a child with special needs and have nurses around the house and it's just an interesting experience. I think it would be really eye-opening for a lot of people to actually see what goes on. And like, when it comes to the Disney Channel thing, me and my brothers put together this video. <laughs> Bruising from Teen Beach Movie and actually like they cooperated with me and were like, okay, we'll play along. We'll be good sports and they learned it with me and I mean, I don't think that we're performance ready, but hey Disney, we're willing to work. Number 11, my lucky number. You time isn't selfish, it's healthy. I think a lot of times I get so concerned about making everybody happy that I don't actually take time to make sure I'm actually enjoying what's going on. And that's something that I think that I've really worked on this year and has been something that I've definitely learned to appreciate is my personal space and my time. I had a single dorm in New York and that was the best and I think I took it for granted a little bit. Of course I love my roommates now, they know this, but like everybody knows you time is important. Number 12. You can go to a million auditions and still end up without a job. Which can sound discouraging, but I see that as a million times for you to get seen by different individuals and they may have not given you a job right then, but they might remember you for later. And that's something to stay positive about because yeah, it's its own beast. So you have to learn to love the audition and as my people at Amda have taught me, it's a process. 
Greatness will not appear by magic. <laughs> I think I messed up my number somewhere, but I'm on number 13. Appreciate your loved ones because you're never promised tomorrow. And I think that one really just speaks for itself. 14. Love is real and it's awesome. And so is heartbreak and it freaking hurts. But you can grow from it, learn from your experiences. And oh my gosh, my big mood for 2019 is thank you next. Because I'm so grateful for everybody that I've been with and talked to. And everybody's taught me something. And it's been, it's been a wild ride. Thank you. Next. Number 15 on a lighter note. If a dance lift isn't working, it's probably not because you're too fat. It's probably because your partner can't lift you. I can't tell you how many times I beat myself up because I couldn't make a lift work, but it really wasn't my fault at all. Um, <laughs> that sounds terrible. I'm sure there were things I could do to help make it easier. I really beat myself up a little bit this year because I couldn't get like dance combo moves with partners because they were having trouble lifting me, but we were like the same size. So it's like the specific lift that I'm thinking about in my head. When I did it with somebody who could lift me and do it, it worked. So I was like, okay, it's not the end, I'll be all. <laughs> Chill. 16, oh, I'm so excited about this one. I learned how to play the ukulele this year. I'm still not like the best. Also, isn't she beautiful? She's purple. And I am in love with her. She doesn't have a name yet, so that's coming, but. Where are my Steven Universe fans? Are you out there? Can I see you? Death and love and birth and peace and war on the planet Earth. Whoa. Number 17. I'm pretty sure I skipped a number somewhere in there or like repeated them, but you get the idea. I know for a fact that I have 18 of them. Right? Trust myself. I can't, I don't know how many teachers have told me I need to trust myself when it comes to acting, life, just like living in general. I consider myself a confident person, but I definitely learned to trust myself more, to trust that I deserve to be here. And it's, um, Something that I think is a really cool thing and a lot of people need to experience more because, you know, <laughs> you're you and that's truer than true. There is no one out there who is youer than you and I just think that you have to trust that. Love yourself. <laughs> and number 18, last but certainly not least, I learned that I loved both New York and LA. Um, everybody keeps asking me, what's your favorite? Which one do you like better? And I'm like, well, I don't like West Hollywood that much, but I do like LA and I do like California. Like the Orange County is gorgeous and I'm in love with New York City. So I love them both. I think they both have amazing things to offer and I'm really, really excited to see what this new year has to offer. So thank you guys so much for watching my video. Um, I hope that you can reflect on your own 2018 and find 18 things that you appreciated because I know everybody says, oh, my 2018 sucked. Yeah, bad things are always gonna happen. There's not much we can do to stop them except for stand up for what we believe in and be ourselves. I hope you have a very happy new year. Thank you, lovelies. Bye. No excuses, excuses, babe. Cause your mama raised your bed.